Hello, how does BP Pulse charging compare to Tesla supercharging? Well, at Amesbury in Wiltshire near Stonehenge, there are 16 Tesla 250 kilowatt CCS superchargers and one BP Pulse with a 50 kilowatt CHAdeMO and a Type 2 43 kilowatt and a CCS 50 kilowatt. The Teslas are all CCS 250 kilowatt and cost 40p a kilowatt hour for most of the day. At peak times from 4 pm to 8 pm, it's 50p a kilowatt hour. Owning a Tesla is no card swiping or logging into an app. You just reverse in and plug in the Tesla supercharger and it knows who you are and only takes a few seconds and it charges your bank account and is so very, very simple. Amesbury is not exactly in the middle of the city. It's frankly in the middle of nowhere, not far from Stonehenge. And Tesla thought years ago to put 16 superchargers there. And it's a great location at, and at the moment and only about half are in use. BP decided quite recently to put in only one CCS public charger at 50 kilowatts, which is a fifth of the Tesla power, 250 kilowatt. The BP costs 79p a kilowatt hour and is almost double the cost of the Tesla, which is only 40p a kilowatt hour for most of the day. And the BP is only 50 kilowatts, one fifth compared to the Tesla, 250 kilowatts. The price on ZapMap shows Tesla to be dearer than it actually is. Uh, the correct price you can find actually see on your Tesla touchscreen uh, charging for the Tesla, which is 40p for most of the day from 8 p.m. until 4 p.m. And for just four hours, 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the peak time, it's 50p a kilowatt hour. Now, with BP, if you agree to pay them £7.85 a month, they give you a credit of £9 every month for five months, which is £45. So they're giving you, in effect, £1.50 a month for the first five months. But then after that, you carry on paying the £7.85. It's very odd because there's no petrol station in the country where you have to pay a monthly subscription to pay. Um, do they think they're running a book club or a video streaming service? Very strange. So paying £7.85 a month, you get your kilowatt hours for 63p, and that's 13p more than the Tesla peak time, and 23p more than the standard time. Um, now this is at Amesbury supercharging, but PP are much slower charge rate. But also, you still got to pay your seven eighty five a month to pay more. It's not as if BP are the only alternative. GridServe are doing an excellent job, and there are many other public chargers, and most are not expensive as seventy nine p that BP charge. If you need a fast charge, you do expect to pay a little bit more travelling away from home, but you should pay much less if you need a slower charge at public chargers. The problem with the BP Pulse charger is that it only has one of each connectors compared to Tesla 16. So it's very likely you're going to wait if it's in use and it's double the price and one fifth the kilowatts at 50 kilowatts compared to 250 kilowatts. I went there two days running. One day the BP Pulse was working, but the second day it wasn't. So another reason to put people off. Look, I'm British and so is BP and half American owned, but wonder if BP are trying to delay the transition from oil to electric and put people off by going electric by charging a ridiculous price, only putting in one CCS slow charger, knowing that one person charging means they can't be used by anyone else, unlike Tesla, who have 16. So if you don't have a Tesla, you're going to be annoyed that the charger is in use. And you can't use it and wonder why you bought this damn electric car in the first place and the high cost and confusing monthly subscription makes some people think twice before changing to electric from gas i'm not paid by tesla or anybody and my tesla is the best car i've ever had i mostly charge at home which takes seconds to plug the car in but when i travel further i think it's great I'm paying almost half the BP charging costs with Tesla 
and it only takes a few seconds to plug it in while I go off and do the things that I want to do, like getting a coffee or going to the loo. And I'm not stood there putting gas in the car or waiting in a line to pay. So what do you think? Please leave a comment below. I uh, hope you can also like and subscribe for future updates to this channel. And please don't forget to take your reusable coffee mug wherever you go. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.